Alright, so first order of business, I'm using a 18 inch breaker bar and a 21 millimeter socket to crack loose the lug nuts on both wheels before I jack up the car. It's important to do this while the vehicle is on the ground. So with the caliper bracket removed, you can just slide the pads out. See this side, the pads look uh, like they have some life left in them. Pretty similar thickness, which I'm happy about. This car has about 55,000 miles, so you shouldn't see any really abnormal wear. Looks pretty smooth. The uh, rotors look alright. Um, they could be turned down, but they're, they're pretty smooth. So a little bit of a lip on the edge, but uh, nothing too crazy. Here's the new pads. You can see the difference in thickness from the old pads. Definitely uh, could use some, some new ones on there. These are the BP1211 QuietCast. I can't speak for them because I haven't used them before, but um, they came with component lube, so that made me happy. I can return the uh, lube that I got from O'Reilly's. Um, and then uh, here's your little clips. Comes with installation instructions, which is kind of nice. So we, now we can. Uh, put some assembly lube on there and throw them on the on the car. So right here you'll notice me putting some clips onto the brake pads. Uh, there were two little clips, um, actually one per pad, uh, that I had to remove from the existing brake pads. Uh, they didn't come in the set, so make sure you put those on. You can see them at the bottom of the pads there. There's one on each side. Okay, these pads are brand new, so we're going to need to compress the piston on the brake caliper. Should be good. Pad slide in here nice and easy. <clears throat> Mistake I made the first time I did this was putting these clips on the bottom. Um, these came from the factory. Uh, these clips um, just on the top, not sure why. Uh, you'll notice the top and bottom are different, so just make sure that's on the top. 
on both sides. That goes on the top and it kind of clicks into place. So we can put the caliper bracket back on. <clears throat> and those two 14 millimeter bolts go in like so. And the torque spec on those is 25 foot pounds. So this, this part can be a little bit tricky to put back on. Um, you need a uh, 17 millimeter open end wrench <clears throat> like this. Work on that. That's good. Bottom's good. There you go.